In this video, we are going to see what is Glide Form API. Okay, why we are making this video is that because our upcoming videos will be regarding the scripting in ServiceNow. So this is important that you get the basic knowledge of the components that we are going to use in our script examples of the upcoming videos. Okay, so that's why this is the first video that is called Glide Form API. Now, what is basically an API? And APIs are the codes which are already written by the developers. We just have to use them. We don't have to create the whole logic from the base. We just use that particular method in our code. That's it. We don't have to write the full logic from the scratch. So this is what API means. So what does Glide Form API do? Basically, it used to customize the forms. So we can customize our forms in ServiceNow according to the requirements with the help of Glide Form API. And in ServiceNow, there is a class for it that is called GlideForm.js. So this is the JavaScript class which contains all the methods that will be used to customize the forms. Now, there are methods present in the class. How we can access those methods? So there is a global object that is called G underscore form global object. So with the help of G underscore form, we can access the methods present in the Glide form .js class. And there is one more thing is that glide form methods are only used on the client side. So whenever we script in the service now, if we are scripting in the client side, then we are going to use the g underscore form global object to access the methods of glide form class. Okay. So what are the client side means the scripts written in the client scripts, UI policies, catalog client scripts, or wizard client scripts. So these are the areas where we can use the glide form methods with the help of g underscore form global object. As we have mentioned catalog client scripts or wizard client scripts. So some of these methods can also be used in these client scripts also. But the first most thing is that test the functionality first means whatever the script we have written inside these particular catalog client scripts or wizard client scripts, whether the outcome is the same as per our requirements or not okay so there are some examples of how we can use the g underscore form global object present on the screen like we can use g underscore form set mandatory to set the field mandatory we can use g underscore form dot set read only to make the field read only we can also use like g underscore form dot add error message to add the error message on the form so these are the some of the examples how we are going to use the g underscore form global object and how to access the glide form class methods so we are going to use the g underscore form global object in the upcoming videos until then subscribe to the channel if you like this video do share the videos with others thanks for watching this video bye bye